Hey guys, what's up? So this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you guys are trying to get into software development, iOS development, software QA, and other stuff, check out the link in the description tab below. They are offering courses. Um, you can actually live on campus over there. They are hooked up with employers around the country, um, around the world really, and they're going to help you try to find your first job in this industry. So uh, make sure you give them a look, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp, and the link is in the description tab below. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm talking about why UX developers make so much money. So one of my viewers had a question and they were just basically looking at, they were looking at being a programmer first, but they're starting to like the UX design developer role a little bit more. And um, they were wondering why they're getting paid so much money. And I just wanted to give my input on that. Um, and really it is that I've been on design teams or development teams that have actual dedicated UX developers and designers. And then I've been on projects that didn't. And I think that the ones that didn't like clearly shows UX developer and designer is actually much more than being a graphic ar artist. So like back in the old days, we used to have these graphic artists that would create these PSD Photoshop templates and you would end up having like an image that was given to you. And the only way that we could make the image like a reality in the web browsers back in those days, because we didn't have CSS and, HT or, and HTML and JavaScript that could actually support uh, the advanced colors and, and things like that that you could get from an image. So in order to make that background on a website, we'd end up taking that image and breaking it up into a bunch of different images and then splicing it all together using an HTML table. Um, so that type of stuff was really, really terrible. But uh, the, the graphic designers back in those days, you would get these like pie in the sky templates. Oh, we'd love it to do this, this and this. And like uh, the reality was the technology just wasn't there to do any of that stuff. So um, UX developers though, they come in and they're actually studying like the human to computer interaction. And like there's entire books, there's like graduate courses on this stuff. So like, it's very, very valuable. Um, products out there are all about trying to build a better mousetrap. If you look at Google, the simplicity of Google and its user experience was so much better than like something like, uh, you know, YouTube or, or not YouTube, uh, but like something like Yahoo or something like that at the time. Um, Google with this just straight up like colorful logo in a box that just says, hey, go ahead and search what you're looking for. Uh, even to this date, they're not plastering you with ads on that front page, which is pretty amazing. And if you go to Yahoo and you do the search, uh, very similar to what they had back in the old days, it's still very like they're just plastering you with a ton of stuff. And then here you have the option of going um, to search for something. So user experience developers are also about user testing. And this stuff is rather tedious, but look at the companies that are using this website called usertesting.com. Um, this website is a product that exists and they, they get you in contact with all these different people that can test your application um, or business idea before it ever hits, hits the ground. So you can test like different colors, um, user experience people and graphic artists as well. But like, you know, they can comment on how certain colors make people feel um, and like how people perceive them and things like that, male versus female, different. Um, they factor in like a lot of different, uh, you know, ethnicities and things like that. So a lot of different things that your typical developer just doesn't really think about or care about a user experience developer does. Um, and it's hugely important. Like if you look at what happened with uh, Apple came up with the rounded corners on their smartphone application icons so the rounded corners was enough for Am um, for apple to be able to sue samsung for copying their their user experience design and feel um, and they won and it was like a billion it was multi-billions of dollars in damages so like it just goes to show you how much money um can be put into unique ideas uh, of just something as simple as rounded corners on an application icon so if you look at like a Google user experience engineer, um, they obviously pay the best and the brightest out there. They have average base salary of 130,000 according to Glassdoor, and that's not even counting like your bonuses and things like that. So um, clearly they're getting paid. Now that's Google. I would say your typical user experience engineer is probably making close to a software um, engineer, but uh, probably, probably slightly lesser. And then if you have more of a graphic designer type role, that is not the same thing as a user experience engineer. So you're definitely looking at much lesser salaries, um, probably around 70 to 75, I would think. All right. So if we look at this chart here from Robert Half, which is a popular IT staffing firm, um, you could see that they have the user experience designer salaries. And 
Um, in many cases, they always exceed. So if you want to be a user experienced uh, designer, you're going to get paid more than a graphic artist or just a standard, uh, probably even UI developer. But there is quite a bit more work and responsibility that goes into that. And really, the entire product itself could end up uh, basically failing or succeeding um, off of your work. So I think the true bread and butter, though, is to at least be interested in user experience design. You should know about web accessibility standards and what screen readers are and, and things like that. You should know about um, validating your HTML through W3C and, and uh, just little things like that. I think every web developer should probably be interested in that. Um, when it comes to actual design, like I think you can look from like my um, my thumbnails here that I'm not the best user experience designer, but I can tell you that you know being in this industry industry for ten years, I, I a lot of this stuff is is not like my best work because I don't have time, but it, like this stuff is like I'm still better at it just because I do it all the time. Um, so even though I'm not an artist and I never will be. I still feel like um, you know I can at least understand a lot of these tools and these concepts that, that certain people come up with to the point where I, at least I can recognize, okay, I want to go ahead and uh, implement that on my own. And I think for most developers, that's probably all you need to, to have is just the ability to, to look at and understand good design from bad design. But we don't have to really like pave the way for coming up with the next you know swipe feature that, that makes everybody all giddy and happy inside or something like that. But for the people that do want to do that and they are passionate about it, there is absolutely a ton of money to be made in that. And um, and there's not a whole lot of people that are really good at it, in my experience. So if that is something that you're good at, the industry needs it. And if you like it more than coding, I think you could even do both of them simultaneously, to be honest. Um, and that 130, if you're really doing both, and that's kind of, I think in that case, you're either doing some real hardcore stuff for something like Amazon, um, or you're probably having like a, multi-role type of thing where you're doing some development and user experience analysis and all that stuff. So um, basically some of those $130,000 salaries, I, I don't think that they're strictly paying somebody that to, to just attend like a bunch of user testing uh, sessions and, and write notes and things like that. It's going to be a lot more work than that.